You see? No matter which way you go, I block you. Ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. Talking to the prince is the best part of the tour. Or the candelabras, depending on what you're into. Test of Canada! Hail! Yay! Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the south? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the great border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. Welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what, kill off all the dire bears in the north of town, and I'll help you however I can. Glad you gotta fight dire bears and not me. anything, but I kind of like it. But it's like a bear. By Jove, you've done it! Look at all these dire bear pelts. Now I can finally make a dire robe. All right, give me that document. Mm, yes. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him, and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most dire robe in all of Canada. Ah, oh, shucks, when are we gonna catch a break? That wasn't so bad.
you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the Bishop. <gasps> kill the Bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the Bishop of Banff for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this, and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? Assassin! Feel my righteous fury! What he does. Feel my righteous fury. Love thy neighbor. Remember the golden rule! I shall turn the other cheek. Just just be done. Kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Bless you, my son. It'll be our secret. Wow, good thing I saved these. Poor oh, dire pig. Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's balls. Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about, Terence. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. <laughs> <laughs> the sneaky squeaker. Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. <laughs> Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric Von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. 
But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! <laughs> That's it! You have the power! You did it! Now go out and use your anus for the good of mankind! And don't ever, ever fart on a man's balls. Je suis libre! Je suis libre! Oh, n'avez-vous besoin de quelque chose à tradu Ok. C'est là, c'est tradu, passe là, c'est là, c'est tradu, passe là. Voilà. Bonjour. Merci beaucoup. See, right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day, and right there it says Nancy Turner, 3:30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom. So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch. The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass! But Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi! Yay! 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 You served us well, new kid, so you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. <laughs>